This is the story of Thunder and Serpent. Once, while out hunting, two brothers discovered a small serpent. Speaking to the boys without speaking, Serpent offered them his loyalty if they would feed him. So they fed him and kept on feeding him. And over time, Serpent grew and grew, and so did the boys' affection for him. Serpent grew so large that he began to hunt for the boys. All the boys would have to do is just think about what they wanted to hunt, and Serpent would get it. But the bigger of the two brothers wasn't made happy by this, for he was in love with the beautiful maiden that was already taken. Serpent, hearing his master's desire, awoke. Serpent became full of evil thoughts and liked them. Serpent set out to the tribe's land to unleash this evil. He took the maiden and massacred all who tried to stop him. The brothers returned home to find death everywhere and the maiden missing. The tribe spoke of a giant serpent as the one that had done this. The tribe leaders called out to the spirits for aid and they sent them thunder. The boys ran in hopes of helping Serpent before it was too late as thunder passed over them. The fight had already begun by the time the boys got there. But thunder couldn't kill him. He saw that Serpent was protected by the love the boys had for him. Thunder asked the boys for their help and in return offered them his loyalty for all time. The boys loved Serpent, saw that he was now evil, and knew that Thunder was good. With saddened hearts, the boys raised their weapons, took aim, and released. Striking Serpent, making him vulnerable. Thunder ripped Serpent's head off and cast his body off of the edge of the world. Thunder returned to the clouds with Serpent's head, but remained in the world, just as he promised the boys he would. With Serpent dead and the maiden safe, the boys were honored by the tribe as heroes, and showered with great thanks by the maiden and her beloved. But they couldn't take pride or joy in any of it, for they had lost a dear friend that day, as well as a part of themselves. And that is the story of Thunder and Serpent. We still hear the voices of our ancestors.